This week's meeting comes amid the resumption of clashes between Libya's government of national accord and the Libya National Army. The quartet denounced the Barak al Shatti attack that killed 147 soldiers and civilians from the Libyan National Army a few days after successful peace talks in Abu Dhabi. Every time there are a tendency for a political discussion and meetings amongst the parties to have uh, a breakthrough or movement, always a certain spoiling incident takes place where it interrupts the process. The warning is, the warning is for the spoilers to stop and for all of us to say, we see you. The quartet has urged both sides to refrain from violence and continue talks on a peaceful solution. Talks are based on limited amendments to the 2015 UN brokered Sukhairat deal in Morocco. I think the amendments should include all parties in the Libyan conflict, especially Khalifa Haftar, who proved to be a vital aspect that must be part of any solution. The chaos in Libya has allowed refuge to extremist groups who then try to cross borders. The Egyptian forces showed images of a terrorist convoy detected and hit by the army. It had crossed from Libya this week to attack army units inside the country. In spite of continuous efforts from Egypt and other neighbors to forge peace, it is thwarted by what some describe as foreign intervention. Many of the Libyan factions are supported by foreign powers that have their personal agenda. Therefore, they resist peace talks. Some Libyan ministers accuse Turkey and Qatar of providing several forces with weapons and funds, which prevents a peaceful solution. Accusations Qatar has denied. Mediators are pushing the political forces in Libya to go ahead with elections and the new constitution in the next six months. They hope to bring an end to the infighting to be able to concentrate on the war on terror. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.